Hi there, friends. I'm Liz Mead. I'm author, speaker, coach, adventurer, and runner. And I'm here to talk to you about what is I'm very passionate about my 100 day journey 2017 Kickstarter. I wrote a blog about this, but I wanted to also make sure it was available in video so that I could ensure that you really got the gist of this. I was thinking about things that I think you should consider as you try to change something. I think that it doesn't matter where you are in your life, young or old, what socioeconomic place you are, what culture you're from, the new year always offers a special kind of energy. And I always think like, gosh, I'm so excited that people want to change. But then you almost have this resignation that you know, it's, it's, it's unlikely that all these changes are going to stick. People are kind of surprised when it happens. And so I have six things for you to consider as you are executing on your shift. I'm not going to call it a resolution. People seem to have a bad reaction to that. But we are engaging in a shift. We want something to change, and we want it to change for the better. So first thing I want you to think about, whatever those goals are, is you're going to have to have a do-it-anyway attitude. The anyway and do it anyway is how the success is born. The thing is, is that it might be a really great thing that you want to do. Like I want to run in the mornings throughout this Midwestern winter and it's very cold. And so anyway means um, that I'm doing things that are, I'm doing it when it's cold. I'm doing it when I'm tired. I'm doing it when no one else is doing it. Um, sometimes I do it when my gear isn't quite right. I just do it anyway. And when I decide that I'm going to do it anyway for a period of time, eventually it just becomes part of my muscle memory. But I will tell you, every success story started with doing it anyway. Uh, the second one is that you need to make it harder for yourself, not easier. Now, I don't mean in the preparation. I mean in the execution. So, for instance, um, there was a, a day I was running a couple weeks ago, and it was very, very icy. And so I had to run... Um, on the grass on the side of the sidewalk and it was really hard it was super uneven and the it was kind of crunchy and slippery in its own way and so I had to run slower and I had to be careful not to trip and afterwards my ankles and my my ligaments were just a little sore because I was running differently but what I noticed is that when I hopped back on the sidewalk later in that run and the next day, it just felt easier. And that's because doing it harder makes the normal easier. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for strength. You're looking for energy for the shift. The third thing I think that you should think about as you're pursuing your goals is create a clear short-term view. I get that you have this big, beautiful picture of uh, something that you want to change in your life. And that mountaintop view is really helps us point in the direction of where we want to go. But it's not going to provide the inspiration that you need on a daily basis to be motivated. What you need is a clear short-term view. So I'll use vet, fruits and vegetables as, as an example because a lot of people are working on their, their diet right now. So if you put, let's say, let's say you wanted to eat more whole foods and you put everything that you wanted to eat for a day on a little plate or in a container and you put it in the fridge and by the end of the day it was empty you have a clear picture of when you're done and then you can fill it up again you need to create somehow clear pictures of what it is that you want if you have a pile of papers that you want to get rid of just keep the stack in a place and then just do a few at a time and then you'll know when you're done you know just really try to keep progress. And also that clear view includes the back view. Like what have you done so far? Congratulate yourself. Look at what's not working. Look at what is. And just focus the best you can on whatever that thread of success is. Um, one other, there's two more things. Um, I really think you need to understand what your success paces. So I use running all the time because that's a place that I'm focusing on, but it could be anything. But you have to understand that when sometimes there are people who are super fast in a race, but they don't have to run as fast as you do in practice in order for you to get the same result. Sometimes people are super fast in their practice runs and then you if you tried to deal like run as far as they do as long as they do you'll break down you've got to understand what it takes for you to be successful we can work with each other 
we can use each other for inspiration. But at the end of the day, if you don't get what you need to be successful, you will fail. The last thing is you can't expect 100% of your potential every single day because you are not going to be able to live up to that. I can run really fast, but I can't run that fast all the time. Sometimes my 100% is really 80% of my potential. And if I don't figure that out, then I'm going to burn out. Oh, I had one other thing that I wanted to, I'm sorry, I had one more. I'm doing this a little out of order, but you know, hey, it's a video. Um, and that is prepare for failure. So prepare for those moments when, so this is sort of the opposite of making it harder. In, in the preparation, make it easier. Lay out the clothes. Plan the meals. Um, put, when, if you have a project, put everything that you need uh, at the ready so that you don't have to sit down and then try to make it happen because in those moments right before you execute That's when you're the weakest because you know your brain is whiny. It wants you to stop So there are the six things you can also read them in the blog and I invite you to come into my 100 day journey. It's super low investment high impact online group coaching and I'm seriously with everyone encouraging them helping them tailor their 100 day new year kickstarter so that it just becomes part of your natural life and then you can go into the spring stronger better and faster i hope that you'll join me and uh, thank you for being part of my world